Hi everybody, um, this is a video demonstration for notebook sample number three. Um, let's see here, so this is the option if you'd like to do it in CLO. Um, if you're watching this video, I am expecting that you have already watched the foundation videos that I provided by CLO, so you like understand how to get rid of certain tabs and, and how to view, you know, maybe just the 2D screen or just the 3D or both. Um, some of the just basic things, and, um, and I'm also expecting that you're using a mouse with a scroll wheel on it. But I'll go slow and just kind of explain everything step by step as best as I can. So to start off, um, you're gonna open up the basic sloper, which is a file that I provided. So um, you're gonna go to file, and you are going to go to open and you're going to open up a project because this file that I provided also has the avatar. And this file is from Clo, by the way. So if you end up sharing this project on your portfolio or social media, you want to make sure that you give Clo credit that you can copy and paste um, what how to credit them. Um, this is an agreement we made with them in our contract to provide the license to you free for you. But this college is paying for it um, based off that agreed contract. Okay, so here is our front sloper and our back sloper. Close a little different than doing it by hand because they have it mirrored. So meaning I only need to change the dart on one side and it will automatically change the dart on the other side, which is kind of neat. Um, quick refresher, if you want to look around this model, um, if you hold the down the right mouse button and click and drag, you can um, kind of move around just to see how is this sloper fitting her right now. If I scroll the little middle scroll thing, we can zoom in so you can see where the dart currently is. And if I want to pan up, I need to, I'm need i on a Mac. I hold Option and then I use the left button on the mouse and I can click and drag. So these are simple things you want to really practice so you get control of and they become second nature and they'll make your life a lot more um, easier. Okay. So I don't really need to look at this, so I could just kind of click and drag. I kind of like having her around, but, um, but we're focusing more on the 2D pattern right now. So our task is to take this one dart sloper and change it to a two dart sloper. We're going to have the second dart over here at the side, and we want to keep the same fit. I'm not trying to just add another dart. I'm trying to get rid of um, some of this to be over here. So I need to move this dart. Okay, so um, I don't really need to transform the pattern. I need to edit the pattern. Keyboard shortcut letter Z, or you can just click it. Okay, click. Okay, um, so I'm gonna select this dart. So if I click one time, one dart leg is selected. You can see it's also selected in the mirrored side. And I don't think it matters what side you work on, by the way. Now, how do I select the other dart leg without deselecting my original dart leg? Um, if any of you have taken Illustrator, you probably know, hold down shift. And that way you can select more than one thing at the same time. I love that that kind of is parallel with Illustrator. Okay, so my dart is now selected. So the next step would be to right click. And we have a little menu that pops up. Um, if I didn't tell you, you'd probably guess we're either going to do edit dart or rotate dart, but we don't want to edit the dart really. We want to move it, I guess. So in this case, rotate dart is the best option. So now how this works is that I need to choose where I want the dart legs to touch on the side seam. So um, I guess right here, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, this is like a design choice. And then um, I get to decide, you know, like really what direction I want this to be. So if we follow the same way in our book, they actually meet at the same. I mean, I know this isn't the best point, but they kind of meet at the dark point. So I'll just go right here. So to do this, I just need to click one time. So I know I'm not clicking at all. I'm just moving my mouse. But to set it, I need to click one time with the left mouse button. So click. Okay, there we go. Now I'm not clicking anything and I have the ability to kind of move my mouse around and, and this piece, it's like I slash and I'm spreading it, right? So if I close it all the way, the dart will be moved. But I want two darts, so I don't want to close it all the way. So I'm just gonna kind of click right here. Now if I click left, it'll set it. But if I click on the right, then I kind of have a little bit more, a window pops up for more information to control it. But I'm gonna click left. Okay, so now the next thing is, it's like, well, how long do you want your dart? Do you want it to come all the way to this point? 
or do you want it set back a little? And in the book, they do actually have us set it back a little bit. So I guess I'll just put it right here. Okay, and I just click with my left mouse and now have to wait for the magic to happen. And voila, we have a sloper that has two darts here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna now focus on this pattern. And um, it's cut open, it needs to be sewn up here. So to see what it looks like sewn up, I would just hit um, the simulation button, which is also the space bar keyboard shortcut. Cool. There we go. That's how it fits her. Okay, let's zoom in, see if you like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so if you want to move the dart point, you just make sure you're on this uh, tool here that says, um, I like when it pops up, edit pattern, keyboard shortcut Z. And you can just grab that point with your left mouse button, click and drag, and put it where you want. And let's look at the model. We'll have to hit simulate again. So you kind of have that option, too, to kind of move it around where you want as well and see how it looks sewn up. Okay, once you're happy, um, you can go label your pattern. So to do that, I'm going to click on Object Browser, Property Editor, and... Um, Right here has pattern name, and you know we can call it front bodice. You can also name it, you know, maybe it's sample number four, number three. Sorry. Um, okay, and that's basically it. If you wanted to add seam allowance, you really don't have to on the computer, um, but maybe if you want to print this out for yourself, um, the seam allowance. Uh, where is it? It's here. Some. Oh, it's down here. My computer's, my screen's kind of small. I will find you. Let's see. Da, 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 da. No, okay, well, let me see. I'm not finding it. Oh, is it? Oh, there it is, Dad's right here. Okay, click that. Now, media I will have better information for you guys, but I asked this during my training too. It looks like the only way to do seam lines, you have to click the seam one seam at a time. So it's kind of silly to me. Um, so even though I'm holding shift, it just does it only once at a time. So that's kind of annoying. And here it defaults to 0.394, so you should have to go in and change it to whatever you want. And you can do it each one individually. That's not super intuitive. But um, you could always just print this out and add seam allowance manually too if it's too much of a pain for you. Okay, but anyways, when you're done, you do need to turn this in. And the way to turn it in is, is to take a snapshot. It's the easiest way. So you're going to go up to File. And you're going to go to Snapshot. You'll do your 2D pattern here. Um, let's see here. Eh, I don't really need any, especially of those lines. You know, it's up to you if you want to show seam lines or not. I would say yes to pattern outlines. You know, in this case, we don't need baselines or notches. Um, seam lines, I'm going to say it's optional for you guys. Um, okay. And then additional information. Yeah, I would say pattern names. I would say your grain line. It also has options if you have wanted the length of the line, all that stuff. But that might be too much. So I would just say grain line and pattern name for sure. And then you can hit save. And then give it a name. So I recommend making a folder. I have FDM 109. I have notebook samples. Maybe I should make a new folder and call this um, sample three. And then um, we can call this the flat pattern sample three just get organized if you're going to do it digitally because these files can be a little crazy okay and then now I also want photos of it sewn up so we're going to go file snapshot 3d window okay so um, I'm going to go to sample three I'll just kind of copy this name set a flat pattern I'll call it 3d and we'll say save um, okay, let's see here. Multi view. You could do a single view, just fine. I think it just does whatever's in your window. Or you also have the option of multi view, which is kind of neat. Um, has here the front and the back. Um, and then it, you know, and you can move this around if there's something you really want to show or feature. Like maybe I'm going to hold down option and click and drag my mouse. 
maybe you really want to show this part, you make sure you zoom in in this window and then hit the little camera and it'll copy whatever's in there. Um, you can like zoom out. I'm holding option to pan, whatever you think is good, and then just hit the camera. Um, yeah, let's see here. And then when you're done, you can look at all through all through the other settings, but it's pretty much the most important one. Just hit save. Now again, if you are going to use this in an online portfolio or social media or anything, you need to give Clo credit because you're using their avatar. If for some reason you didn't want to do it or even worry about it, you can get rid of the avatar. It's this middle button here. It says show avatar. Just click that. Now it's gone. And you just have a floating object here. And you can take pictures of it like this, doing the snapshot tool. So that's an option for you as well. Um, okay, um, I'm curious to see what you guys think of this program. I love it, FYI. It's very satisfying how quickly things get sewn up in it and you can make changes and see what it looks like. Um, I'm curious to see all of your responses. Um, but yeah, this concludes this demonstration video.